After he had eaten bread and after he drank, he saddled the donkey for the prophet whom he had brought back. When he had gone, a lion met him by the way and killed him. His body was thrown on the path and the donkey stood by it. The lion also stood by the body. Behold, men passed by and saw the body thrown on the path and the lion standing by the body, and they came and told it in the city where the old prophet lived. When the prophet who brought him back from the way heard of it, he said, It is the man of God who was disobedient to Yahweh's mouth. Therefore Yahweh has delivered him to the lion, which has mauled him and slain him, according to Yahweh's word, which he spoke to him. He said to his sons, saying, Saddle the donkey for me, and they saddled it. He went and found his body thrown on the path, and the donkey and the lion standing by the body. The lion had not eaten the body, nor mauled the donkey. The prophet took up the body of the man of God, and laid it on the donkey, and brought it back. He came to the city of the old prophet to mourn, and to bury him. He laid his body in his own grave, and they mourned over him, saying, Alas, my brother! After he had buried him, he spoke to his sons, saying, When I am dead, bury me in the tomb in which the man of God is buried. Lay my bones beside his bones. For the saying which he cried by Yahweh's word against the altar in Bethel, and against all the houses of the high places which are in the cities of Samaria, will surely happen. After this thing Jeroboam didn't return from his evil way, but again made priests of the high places from among all the people. Whoever wanted to, he consecrated him, that there might be priests of the high places. This thing became sin to the house of Jeroboam, even to cut it off and to destroy it from off the surface of the earth.